happy Monday. It's an angel message Monday, as it's every Monday in my world. All right, so we have a full moon in Leo this Wednesday, and that's Wednesday if you're in St. Louis. So it might be a different day depending on where you are in the world. Now, Moon Cycle Memoirs, if you're doing it, open to full moon in Leo, and you can go back to six months prior to help you lean into this to understand what was coming up at the new moon in Leo. Now we're gonna be in the full moon in Leo, so you can remove what no longer works. But for today and for this week, we're still building up to the full moon Wednesday, so you can think about what you choose, you choose one, two, or three. If you wanna grab a copy of Moon Cycle Memoirs, I am including the link down below. And also, if you really wanna dive in um, to flow with the moon for the year, we have Moon Cycle Restart that you can still tune into. It's my gift to members if you're a member, and if not, it's still available for you to watch and lean in. Now, if you're choosing position one, the card you get is move. So this is a move card that brings around a lot of not only moving energy in terms of if you are debating moving homes, that could be really good, but also moving your body. It also could be using um, movement in things, you know, like moving money or moving finances, things like that. Um, it's not just about travel and moving the body and moving homes and things like that. It's about moving any energy. So think outside of the box because Leo is really creative. Shine the spotlight on things that maybe you haven't looked at until now. And think about moving. There's a reason that I'm using my deck um, because I am a Leo and my sun sign. I created the Right Wisdom deck. There's a reason I'm using it today is because... This is my own creation, and Leo is about creativity. So think about how you can move energy in terms of what you're creating and put energy on things that you have created. Okay, so that's position one. If you're choosing position two, the card you get is, ah, what do you know, the Bagwell map. So I'm gonna choose a, a support card for this position. The Bagwell map um, very much is feng shui. There's a strong Archangel Michael connection to this. So it's, I would say it's a little hello from Archangel Michael, um, but there's a really strong connection to feng shui. So apply the Bagwell map. Um, to your space, perhaps. Look at applying it over an office, over, you know, a, a home, an entire um, lot, but look at using that. So this is where your home is an actionable vision board. The other thing that I will say is it works both ways. It's not just what I place in my home. It's also what in my home is reflecting to me, right? So if you have beautiful artwork. Is that reflecting beauty back to you? If you have dead flowers and dead plants, what is that reflecting back to you? If you have empty things, what is that reflecting back to you? The support card for this position is yin and yang. So use the Bagua map to help bring balance into your life and into your home. And yin and yang really love this because it is the dark that um, illuminates the light and the shadow that really has a lot of benefit and information. And we need both we, we need both. We, we have to have balance for oneness. So it's a beautiful message. If you're choosing number two, bring balance. And then finally, if you're choosing number three, the card you get is knowledge and cultivation. This is an area of the Bagua map. If you were to go through your front door, it is the lower left hand sector of your home. Now, if you want to apply the Bagua map to a space, you could check out the discovery vault and learn where that is if you don't know how to apply the Bagua map. But in terms of knowledge and self-cultivation, this is about developing something, creating something that you are wanting to do. So this is a nudge from the universe to build on something that you are wanting to do. Um, really lean into your heart's desire and this is a nudge to move in the direction of your heart's desire. On the card, it actually says develop your spiritual path by spending time learning. And I don't like to read messages on the cards. I don't even know why I put messages on the cards. Some people like reading. But what I wanna to say to this point is everything in life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. So you know, maybe don't think of it as my spiritual path or cultivating spirituality, but just what is it that I'm really wanting to build, to address, to nurture, to bring to life? Is there something that's calling to you? So I hope that this has helped you for this week. Have a wonderful full moon. 
full moon in Leo. If you want some more information on that, click the link right down below. I'm sending you love. Bye. Happy week. Thank you.